Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next job pod, which is focusing down onto the component parts of exam paper two. Now, exam paper two in A level geography is all is looking at the human geography side of the course. So again, let's begin by deconstructing paper two into its component parts. Here's the overview. So again, exactly the same as paper one. It is worth 105 marks, 30 percent of your total A level grade. And again, it's exactly the same length, two hours and 15 minutes. Now, almost identical to paper one, three sections A, B and C. But you can see here the the number of marks available for each of the sections is very similar. So section A is worth 32 marks. And this is where they do a combination of units again. So you'll have question one and question two in section A. And it's where they're going to examine you on your globalization unit and your superpowers unit. And again, in the next few slides, we'll break that unit down. Section B is worth 35 marks. Now, be careful here because you get a choice of questions. Either regenerating places, which is question three, or diverse places, which is question four. Now, for all of you at Samuel Whitbread, you need to be answering question four, diverse places, because that is what we have studied. Ignore, don't even waste time looking at regenerating places. And section C is worth 38 marks, so slightly more marks. But be careful again, you have a an option of questions. So either question five, which is health, human rights and intervention. We do not study that at Samuel Whitbread, but you must answer question six because you're at Samuel Whitbread and this is the unit we study. Migration, identity and sovereignty. So let's break down the section A of the exam paper, globalization and superpowers. Now, again, we're going to go through what there could be and what we know there will be. So there could be in section A, a geographical skills question. And again, looking at a four mark question roughly here, which could test either or both of the qualitative and quantitative skills, sometimes in two parts. What we know for sure is there will be short a short open response question, either a three marker or a four marker based on some sort of stimulus. Now, as I always say, a map, a graph, a table of data, a diagram, something that you're going to have to refer to and use in your answer. What we also know for sure in this section of the paper, there will be two extended open response questions again. Here are your essay questions. There will be two 12 mark essay questions focusing on the command word assess. And once again, we know that for every 12 mark essay question, it will always have the command word assess. Section B then. This is the diverse places section of the paper. Now, as I say, don't even focus on the other part of section B where you have a choice. We study diverse places. So again, there could be a geographical skills question for marker. Both qualitative or quantitative skills are being tested. What we know for sure, there will be a short open response, three to four marks, stimulus based. And here, there will be two extended open response questions. Please ignore it says three. It will be two. So you will have two six mark essay questions with the command word explain. And then you will have an additional one 20 mark essay question asking you to evaluate. So two smaller essays asking you to explain and then one 20 mark essay with the command word evaluate and again please look at one of the other jog pods where I go over the structure and how to answer a 20 mark evaluate question 
And finally, migration, identity and sovereignty in section C. Remember, do not answer the health section. You have not studied it. So again here, there could be the geographical skills question for marker. And what we know for sure, there will be a short open response question based on a stimulus, three or four mark. And then there will be three, again, three extended open response questions. There will be one six mark mini essay with the command word explain. There will be an eight mark question again with the command word explain. And then you will have a final 20 mark essay with the command word evaluate. So that's the structure and the component parts of paper two for your human geography exam. As I always say, please go over this again, review and then crack on with revision. Thank you very much, folks.